In the last video tutorial, I showed you the basics of copying over um, core files and putting those into your child theme, um, which is great. However, in version 7 and moving forward, we actually don't recommend you um, copy any of the core files and put them in the child theme at all. What we recommend you do is use the functions file and use hooks and filters within WordPress to hook into different elements of your theme, um, which allows you to customize the actual content just in the same way as you would do by copying the file over. However, it means you're not actually hard coding that within your child theme. You're giving the ability, the user the ability to then go ahead and modify the website as normal and upgrade their website without any worry of losing any of the core functionality. So for example, in the admin error again under our themes and our newly created child theme, I have this file here which is underscore single which is what we copied over in our last child theme and this is obviously the new single page. Now if we wanted to, to update a single page um, as, as within the framework file or if we added new functionality to the single page, it would mean you would then have to manually go in and modify your copied version of the single underscore file um, in order to keep the same functionality that we add. Well, that's obviously no good if you've got lots of child themes and you've created lots of them. Or for example, if you've applied um, this child theme to your client's website, the client then finds out that we've added a new function and then they want you to add that. It makes it very difficult. So what we recommend you do in version 7 is never copy any of the core files over apart from and create a single file what we call underscore functions and apply hooks and filters so in this video tutorial I'm just going to quickly show you how to use the hooks and filters to set up your premium press website so first things first I'm going to go ahead and delete this singles page what we had um, before I deleted was this testing output at the top here and if I refresh the page Obviously now this, the file is using the core um, single pet file and we've obviously lost that testing output. So what I'm going to do is use the filters tool um, within um, WordPress to add back the same functionality without having to obviously copy the file over. And we do that by adding all of the functions um, within an underscore functions file. So I'll open this up and we're going to use some of the hooks that we have added in the premium press theme framework. Now you can find a list of all of the hooks on our main website um, under the support tab. If you clicked on support, click on theme development, you can get to the page that I'm going to be showing you here. And on the right hand side we've added a huge list of different options available. Now the key one in this video tutorial is this theme layouts hook. And we've added this nice page here so you can quickly see um, which one belongs to the which. So we've got number one, which is the page hooks, which is the top and the bottom of your entire website. Number two, which is the header hooks. Uh, number three, menu hooks, etc, etc. Now, we're going to be concentrating on the middle content because that's where we just added the code, um, which is in this content here. So we can see the middle section is number six and number eight. If we scroll down the list, we can see number six is a content hook. So content before, content after, which looks promising. Oh, we've got um, middle top and middle bottom. So the content would literally be this whole content block here. Whereas the middle bit would be specifically for this middle content block here. So since we added um, the testing output um, to the middle content, we're going to choose the middle top. So we copy this middle hook, um, this hook name. We go back to our file, we add a new hook. You do that in WordPress using the add underscore action, open bracket, close bracket, put the name of the hook we're in, and then we have to put the name of the function to deal with this new hook. So we create a new function called uh, anything you want. So marks test one, two, three. And um, we make sure we put this into the second block here. So what it's telling the system to do and telling WordPress to do is to apply all of the code that we put um, between these um, function options here into the premium press middle top, which is this content will be loaded at the top here. So I can show you if I just use the echo, testing output, click on refresh. And as you can see now, I've added testing output to the top of my website. So we've done exactly the same as what we had in the previous one by copying the whole file um, single underscore single over to our file. But instead of actually now hard coding it, we've put a few lines of code into our functions file and it's done exactly the same thing. And we can do that with all of the aspects of our theme. So we can go back to our um, um, display image here. We can find the header hooks. So we could uh, press top. We add a new hook. 
add underscore action, the name of it, and then we add the name of the function that's going to be dealing with it. So we we'll do another one, another, another one. We copy the name of our function into the second box here, and then we output anything we want as part of the display. So testing another output. Click on save changes, go back to our website, just give it a refresh. And as you can see now at the top of our website, we have this testing another output. So by using the hooks in WordPress and using the hooks built into our themes, you can customize exactly the same content as you would have done by copying the file over, but by using a single file that's more friendly and it doesn't modify or hard code any of the objects into your child theme. So when we do updates, or create any additional changes or add new functionality to the theme, you have still kept those functionality within your child theme and you've not lost anything.